uh, are we allowed the nikah where uh, like in india we have the concept of mixed gatherings dance and music and all as the functions before the nikah so as a, their immediate relatives are we allowed to attend all those functions my sister if uh, the function of nikah has you know is a sacred function and if there is something haram happening there then you can excuse yourself i have done it so many times i've excused myself from functions because i felt that it would damage my own level perhaps i may be going there and i don't want to be bumping into you know uh, women or to bumping into uh, things that are terrible and bad you know alcohol is being drunk there and sometimes music is being blasted in the ears you know if you're walking through a mall and you have something to do in the mall or you're walking through a place and someone's blasting the music and so on it's one of those things but for us to to go and attend a function where a lot of haram is happening it's actually our right and our freedom not to go uh, you know just like sometimes if you were to invite the hindus to your home you, you need to be conscious of what they believe as well so don't insult them by putting things that will actually be insulting to them uh, on the table and so on you need to respect what they believe with disagreement you might disagree they disagree but you respect that they are allowed to do what they're doing and so are you so the same would apply to other Muslims sometimes if they're doing something that we believe is, is unacceptable then they should understand that look uh, uh, this is unacceptable but say it in a beautiful way the problem with us sometimes and I'm not saying yourself I'm saying perhaps even myself at a certain stage and maybe uh, a lot of us would benefit from this little piece that I'm about to say the problem is when we turn to religion a little bit we become a bit aggressive and we think that you know what uh, the way I talk to someone is is such that I'm holier than you and that's it I'm not coming there's haram happening in that function relax there's a way of talking say no oh, mashallah I'd love to come here's a gift you know go to them a day a day ahead their family go and spend a little bit of time go and give them your gift and thank them make a lot of dua and you know say something to them you know I may not be able to attend but you know that's it I'll try my best but X Y and Z I recall a function that I was invited to and I was told clearly that this function is completely separated. You see, if they tell you in advance what's going on, it's one of those things. And when I got there, I saw it totally mixed. So on grounds of principle of being lied to, I actually told him, Salaamu Alaikum, and I'm departing. And I departed. And I told the brother who had invited me, look, my brother, I love you so much. I pray for you. Allah grant you success. And I hope, I wish all the best for you. But you know what? You actually deceived me. You told me that it's not going to be like this, and it is like this. He said, no, 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 but you know this, and you know that. And I said, look, my brother, I really, I'm not saying it because I don't like you. I love you. But I won't be able to be there and and the reality is you should have told me in advance you made me travel all the way you made me come all the way here and this is what I found so this I'm just telling you I've done it and whether people like you for that or not is one of those things it's one of those things and there have been times when you have to uh, sometimes you caught in a certain spot where you may have to greet someone of the opposite sex. You may have to interact with them, but that interaction should be limited to whatever is necessary. And, you know, it shouldn't go into that which is flirting and so on and so forth. May Allah protect us all. We're living in a, in, in a world where, yes, we're going through a lot of difficulty. I've interacted with so many females, whether it's in the bank or the aircraft or e anywhere else, sometimes on the street, sometimes passing in a passage and so on, and people greet you. They, they, it's our right to actually greet back. Subhanallah, you have to. And sometimes you have to greet because you know what? That's, you are the Muslim that's there. I've known of cases where uh, women have been stuck uh, with their motor vehicles on the roads and I have actually stopped in order to help and assist and they were just women and me and, and that was it and I felt that it's better that I stop and assist these Muslim women than someone whom we don't know stops and assist them subhanallah and you do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the point I'm raising is as we get closer to Allah let's not let it affect our character negatively when we talk to others be calm with them try and explain to them it took us 20 years sometimes to see the light it might take them 40 years we can't expect them to come in five minutes, ten minutes. If you don't see the light, that's it. You're astray. Make dua and keep on trying. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. Please make dua May for Allah my sons. May Allah bless you and bless Muhammad us all. Muhammad Anas and Muhammad Hamza. Ameen. Barakallah fiqh. Allah bless them and bless us all and all our children and those who don't have children. May Allah grant you children who will be the coolness of your eyes and those who are not married yet. May Allah grant you spouses who will be the coolness of your eyes. Ameen. 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 Wow, I heard that quite loud. Masha'Allah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Ameen. Ameen.